I have not had a schedule this full in a very long time. Hey guys and welcome to another one of my flight attendant related videos. So this week I'll actually share some flight attendant content with you guys because I am gonna receive my schedule today. I'm really excited. I have not peeked inside currently. It is 12.55 p.m. I don't know if you can see. Probably not really but so it's just after lunchtime and usually my schedule gets here between like noon and 4.30 ish p.m. So I'm kind of hoping that it will be here until like 3.30 p.m. because that's when I need to leave in order to pick up Mario from work so that we can go shopping. We still need some plant stuff because our plants are growing out of their pots that they're in right now. So we need to buy all of that kind of stuff um, in order to repot them <laughs> sometime later in the week. But anyway, so I have my my crew iPad right here. So I'm not sure whether my schedule is here yet. We'll see, we'll figure it out. So this month is special for me because you guys know if you've watched my vlogs for the past year, you guys know I technically am a line holder, but due to the current situation, I haven't been able to bid on any like regular lines. In the past year, I was only able to bid on like standby and reserve. Last month, I was able to bid on a line, but it was just like a day trip because I had my medical schedule already. And I also have 10 days off vacation that I'm in the middle of right now. So today is like day seven of my vacation time, I believe, something like that. So I'm off until the end of the month, but if you're on vacation, you're not allowed to work that much due to the situation um, as it is right now. So obviously I wasn't able to bid on any like good long trips. For May, I bid on a Denver flight. So originally I had planned on bidding for a San Francisco or an LA trip. That would have been amazing, but I could not bid on those trips because I already saw in my roster, well, I didn't have my roster or anything, but like in the system, I saw that I have two days of you know, recurrent flight attendant training schedule in there. And that obviously takes away from the hours I was gonna be able to work and I think 25 was like the maximum amount of hours that I was able to bid for <laughs> and the Denver flight was just under 25 hours everything else was over 25 hours and then there were like some New York or Toronto trips and stuff like that in there but they were shorter and they wouldn't have gotten me as many hours so I was like let's just go bid on Denver I kind of want to go back to the U.S. I haven't been in half a year oh my gosh like I think October? Was it October? Yeah, October was the last time I did a transatlantic flight because for the rest of um, <laughs> the months that I got international trips, they sent me to Asia. So that was really good too, don't get me wrong. But I kind of want to go back to the US and stock up on some stuff um, like mac and cheese. Just saying. Um, yeah, so let's check. So this thing is probably gonna be buffering for a little bit. Do you guys think I got the trip I bid on? Let's see, I'm excited. Okay, so the last few times, I feel like my schedule has always been posted at like 12 noon-ish. So right now it is 12.58 and it's not posted yet. I have a few other ways of checking, so let me just see if I can um, get any info this way. Nope, it's not here yet. It just shows me that I'm off until the 2nd of May, which I already knew because that's what my schedule last month told me since I'm on paint leave right now. I'll check back in with you guys in a little bit. I'm back, so currently it is 2.30 p.m. So let's hope that something is here. Let's just check. It's buffering. It's here. So let's open this document up and see. Wait a minute. Okay, I'm seriously surprised right now. Okay, that's very interesting. Let's see. Okay, so I have a couple of things in there. So it all starts with my emergency training in the beginning of the month. Usually I have my emergency training on like 
one day for the A320 family and A340 family. So the A320 family means for like the A319, the A320, and the A321, all of that is like one license. And then usually on the same day in the afternoon or in the morning, depends on which model I do, I would have my A340 recurrent, which includes the A330, the A340, and A350. So this year, apparently, I knew this beforehand, so I already saw it in my uh, system a couple of days ago. So this year, it's a little different. So on one day, I have my training in the afternoon, then I have a day off, and then I have my training in the morning, and it's all right. It means I'll have to go to work one more day, but that's okay. I guess scheduling is not the easiest thing right now with so many people like losing their licenses and stuff and having to get retrained and all of that. I never lost any of my licenses. I was, I was lucky. So after that, I have my off days and then I actually got my Denver flight. So before that Denver flight, I have a DT day in there and DT days are basically just days. Um, right now, what it means is that they can technically give me another trip that could start a day earlier. So in case they need me for another flight a day earlier than that, they could actually do that. So yeah, after that, um, I'm off for a couple of days and then in the end of the month, I have another line in there. <laughs> so I actually have reserve in there, but not like regular reserve where they can call me um, like 12 hours before a trip, but like, um, our new reserve lines where you get, I think you get notified at least 24 hours before the trip, something like that. I'm not completely sure how those work. I have never had one of those lines, so I'll have to check, but that's really cool. So that line is until the 25th of May. And after that, I'm definitely off on the 26th. So that's what I bid on because I wanted my birthday off. So the 26th is my birthday and that went through. So they can't really have me work on that day. So that line is one, two, three, four, five days long. So technically they could give me like a five day trip. They could give me like a day trip or whatever. So I don't know. So I might actually get to go to work. Um, well, technically four times in May, which has not happened in over a year. So two days of emergency training and then one trip for sure, the Denver trip. I'm really excited about it. I told you guys about bidding on the Denver flight before. Let me just check something. So on the crew list for Denver. Oh, I actually noticed one girl. She's actually Austrian, which is fun, right? What a coincidence. Um, yeah, so I actually have at least one trip. I might have a second trip and I definitely have my annual recurrent training. So that's really good. So I'll be requalified in like no time so that I can keep on flying and working. So yay, I'm really excited. So I have not had a schedule this full in a very long time. So that's really good. Anyways, this pretty much concludes my video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you're new to this channel and you're not subscribed yet and you enjoyed this video, please make sure that you support me and my channel by clicking on that red button down below. And thank you everyone for watching. Fingers crossed that I'll get that second trip. I don't know yet. It's very interesting. Um, it'll be some sort of like adjustment situation as well because I have not been gone that long in forever. So um, it's just a new situation, I guess. And maybe I'll just be gone for like the one trip or maybe they have a second one for me. Like imagine if they gave me another long haul trip. Wouldn't that be like, yeah. So we'll see. You guys, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing week. I hope you all are staying safe and healthy and I'll see you very soon, hopefully with some very interesting flight attendant content. Bye-bye.